Ladies and gentlemen, the American Jury Bulldog Nation, welcome to the Eric Dieter Show, sponsored by Dieter's Consulting, Parks Yoga, Top Shine Detailing. Check us out on all of our platforms. Slow news day because what dominated the news yesterday was New Hampshire. Trump won 55% to 40 or 56% to 43% with 90% of the vote. I don't know if it got to be 100% this morning, 55, 43, excuse me, over 12% lead. Uh, he's up 30 points on her in South Carolina. Uh, he's going to win Nevada. She's pulled out of there. I mean, this is unbelievable. However, as I said on my Facebook Live last night, Nikki Haley is going to stay in this race, she says, with her billionaire supporters for several reasons. But the number one reason nobody's talking about, it isn't just because she's backed by um, some rhino groups, but it's because of this. She's going for the improbable. If something were to happen to Donald Trump, stroke, death, uh, some scandal that does finally knock him out or something like that, she wants to be the last woman standing to be the beneficiary of that in the later primary times. It's going to have to happen soon because Trump's going to keep racking up delegates. But that would be the game plan, I think, that she's doing. You know, it's like, hey, I'm going to stick in this thing. I want to be the last person standing. Not only that, she continues to increase her name recognition. But there's some possible backlash. Do you stay on too long? And then there is hard feelings. My guess is that's probably not the case. He made up with DeSantis. He'll make up with Haley too. Unite the party, so to speak, when she does finally drop out. So Nikki Haley got what she wants. She's mono to mono. She has no chance to win this thing at all. Her motives for staying in are selfish. Not Republican Party reasons. Not American reasons. Selfish reasons. Another reason not to support her. Trump all the way. Carrie Lake, there's an audio recording released where the chairman of the state Arizona Republican Party tried to bribe Carrie Lake to not run for U.S. Senate. Was it a political thing or an outright bribe? You'll have to determine yourself. Amazon signed, fined 35 million bucks for their over-monitoring of their employees. And last but not least, Nathan Wade, based upon the release of the divorce file, the special prosecutor for Fannie uh, Willis, has lots of drug and alcohol problems in his past. This is the Bulldog. Every dog has their day. Have a great day.